Hi everyone, welcome to another installment on How To. My name is Sergio Campos, here from our head office in Durban, South Africa. Today I'm going to be talking to you about some of the fabrics that we use in manufacturing our wetsuits. One of the major questions that we're asked by our customers is, what is the difference between open cell and double nylon or nylon lined suits, and which one should I choose? We'd like to address some of these questions today and explain the differences between the fabrics. There's also a third fabric, often known as smooth skin or chiclo. We're going to leave that out for today because that's an entirely different material altogether. We'll come back to that on another episode. For all intents and purposes, the differences between open cell and double nylon or nylon lined are very simple. On the outside, you can't tell the difference. Can any of you see which is an open cell piece of fabric and which is a nylon lined? From the front, they look exactly the same. However, turning them around, you can see that the black one has got a nylon lining on the inside, whereas the open cell is just the plain raw neoprene rubber. Neoprene sheets all start their life in pretty much the same manner. Initially, a giant block of foam is cast or blown, and then that is sliced up into sheets. These sheets are then laminated with a layer of nylon. We'll call it nylon, but it's essentially a blend of various different types of synthetics laminated onto the front, which gives the neoprene sheet its color and also a form of protection. As you can see on this piece here, you can actually see the layer of nylon on the end of the sheet where it's laminated onto the neoprene rubber. This is an open cell sheet. On the outside, it looks exactly the same as a double nylon or nylon lined piece. The difference, as I said earlier, is the double nylon line has the layer of nylon laminated on both sides. Again, looking at these two suits behind me, this one is a double nylon line suit and this one is an open cell suit. From the outside, there's no way of telling them apart until you look on the inside. You can see here, clearly the open cell rubber and on the double nylon one, you can see the shiny nylon on the inside. One big difference when manufacturing the suits is during the construction process. On the double nylon suits, we can sew them on the inside. The inside seam is blind stitched. On the open cell suits, there is no stitching on the inside of the suit. It's just the glue weld and the raw rubber. The outside is always sewn. That's part of what the nylon lining does. It allows thread to bite through it in order to be sewn correctly. If it was just the raw neoprene rubber, you wouldn't be able to sew through it. There's always a big debate whether to go for an open cell suit or a double nylon. At the end of the day, either type of fabric can be used for any kind of suit and any kind of diving. It really depends on the individual's preference and what they are going to do. There are a few key differences between the two though. The first one, as I mentioned, is that the double nylon suits have a layer on the inside and are sewn on the inside. By default, this makes them slightly more durable and also easier to put on. With the nylon li lining on the inside, you can put on the suit wet or dry. It makes no difference whatsoever. The open cell suit, not having the nylon lining on the inside, is slightly more prone to damage and wear and tear. The raw neoprene rubber is very fragile and one has to be a little bit more careful when putting it on and taking it off. The other drawback with an open cell suit is that it requires lubrication to be put on. You absolutely cannot put on an open cell suit when both you and the suit are dry. It could always be a fun experience trying to do this. A further subject of debate is whether open cell is warmer than double nylon. One thing to remember in the end is that the thickness of the fabric is exactly the same. 5mm double nylon is still the same as 5mm open cell. I'll leave you up to decide which is better for you. At the end of the day, just remember one thing. Any kind of material can be used to manufacture any kind of suit. The most important thing is to find the best option that works for you with your preferences and your diving conditions. I hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned for our next episode. Cheers. <music>